What's going on boys civil warriors and keyboard ninjas welcome back to the channel today We're going to take a look at automating the volume control and let me give you a little idea of what I'm working with right here so in this particular instance, I want to automate the volume of a track with some backing vocals. I got a vocal level I'm happy with, but the problem is in this part of the song where it's just kind of vocals and there's no strings, it's a little loud. I'm going to play this section for you right here. And this is the track in question. So you see those ahs are a little loud in that section. So I'm going to jump to the start of the second chorus and I'm going to play from here. So you see right there because some strings come in right before that chorus starts, it's a good blend there. But in the first chorus where there are no strings, those ahs are a little loud. So I'm going to automate those to come up at the start of the second chorus. So the first thing we want to do is hit the letter A to make sure automation parameters are visible. Automation on. And you just heard logic say automation on. First, I'm going to set the volume down to where I want it. Track 56 echo, track 66 harmonies. All right, I'm on the right track, so I'm just going to turn this volume down. Minus 11.0 decibels. Minus 11, minus 11.4, minus 11.6 decibels, minus 11.8 decibels, minus 12.0 decibels. And I think around there is where I want it for the first chorus. So let's actually jump to the start of this first chorus and play this. I think you found me. Don't take nothing. I think that's a good level, so I'm going to press return to go back to the beginning of the project. One bar, one so I'm going to first verify that the parameter that's going to be automated is going to be the volume control. And then once I do that, the next thing I need to do is drop two automation points. I'll drop two automation points at the beginning because this is the level I want it to start out at, minus 12 dB. And then I'll go to measure 65 where the second course starts and drop two automation points there after changing the level to minus 9 dB and that will allow the volume to snap or jump to minus 90 dB as soon as it hits measure 65. Now in a case where you might want the volume to slowly ramp up over time from say minus 12 to minus 90 dB, you set one automation point where you want the volume change to start and one automation point where you want the volume change to end. But in this case because we want to snap or switch or jump immediately from minus 12 dB to minus 9 dB, we're going to use two automation points. So once again, we're going to verify that the volume parameter is what's being automated. We're going to set two automation points at the start of the project, and then we're going to set two more automation points at measure 65 after changing the volume to be minus 9 dB. Now, we want to make sure that the automation parameter is set to what we want. In this case, we're doing volume. So I'm just going to interact with the track header. Track 66 volume. Automation parameter. Pop up button. And you see the automation parameter set to volume. So if you wanted to automate the pan, you set that to pan instead of volume. So volume is what we want. So I'm going to stop interacting Pop with this. Track 66 harmonies. Group. All right. And now I'm going to drop my two automation points there at the beginning. So control command four. That's a key command to drop two automation points if you're using the keyboard ninja key map for volume, pan, or send. So I'm going to do command control four. All right, we dropped our two automation point at the beginning of the project. And now I'm going to go to measure 65. 65 bars, one beat, one tick. All right, so I'm at measure 65. I'm going to set the volume to what I want it to be. So... Minus 10.0 decibels. Minus 9.4 minus, minus 9 decibels. Minus 9.2 decibels. Minus 9.0 decibels. All right, so I got the volume set, and now I'm going to drop two automation points there. So command control four. And now I got those two automation points there. So now I'm gonna jump into the mixer so we can look at this. I'm just gonna open this. Command now two. In. Trusted you. Trusted you. Interact with in the harmonies. Channel strip group. Channel strip. 30, off, off, mine off, mine off. Minus 9.0 decibels. Volume fader, slider. All right, so we got the volume fader here. And if I move to something before measure 65. Six, 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 61 bars, one beat, one tick. Off. Minus 12.0 decibels. See the volumes at minus 12. Let me move past. Six, 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 68 bars, one beat, one. 69 bars, one beat, one tick. All right. What measure 69? Off. Minus 9.0 decibels. Volume fader, slider. 
and you see the volume fader is now at minus nine. So what's going to happen is when this is before uh, measure 65, it will be at minus 12 dB. And once measure 65 hits, it will immediately change to minus 9 dB. All right, so here I am now at the start of the third chorus. So I want to bring that up a little bit. So I'm going to take the volume up to minus 8 dB there. Minus 8.8 .8 decibels. Minus 8.6, minus 8.4 decibels. Minus 8 point, minus 8.0 decibels. And I'm going to drop two automation points there. All right. So now this should go to minus 8 here. And I'm going to go to... 96, 97, 90, 99, 100 bars, 1 beat, 1, 101, 102 bars, 1, 100, 104 bars, 105 bars, 1 beat, 1 tick. Here. 105 bars. I want that to come back down a little bit. So minus 8.2 decibels. This to minus 8.4 decibels. Minus 8. Point, minus 8. Minus 9.0 decibels. Minus 9. And then we're going to set two automation points there. All right. So now if I go back into the mixer. Now in. Trusted you. Trusted you mix number one. All vocals in harmonies. Track stat. Collapse. Disclosure. Try it off. Off. Minus 9.0 decibels. All right. So. 104 bars. One beat. One tick. At 104. Off, minus 8.0 decibels. It's at 8 dB. One, 106 bars. One beat. One 106. Tick. Off, minus 9.0 decibels. It's back at minus 9. So from 95 to 105. It's going to be at minus 8 dB and it goes back down to minus 9 dB at measure 105. That's pretty much how you can automate your volume. Thank you so much to Serene for letting me use her projects to demonstrate stuff for you guys. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and VoiceOver. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover. You can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring and once again there is a link to that in the description below. Also don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. As always everyone until next time happy recording.